So this is a common question that comes up. Uh, if I go low carb, I'm gonna lower my insulin and that's gonna actually lower my muscle mass. So how do I maintain my muscle mass and do keto and intermittent fasting? It is true that insulin is anabolic. So anabolic is a condition where your body is building up muscle. Uh, it's building muscle proteins. And a lot of times when you associate um, bodybuilders with carbo loading, a lot of times about a week before the competition, these bodybuilders will go low carb, okay? And then maybe a day or two before the competition, they will do carbo loading and they'll eat sugar and they will just create this huge storage in their muscles of glycogen, which is stored sugar. With glycogen comes water. So every gram of glycogen equals 2.7 grams of water. Now, they're not consuming a lot of water during this period of time or else they would just completely blow up or salt. But the fact that they spike their glycogen makes the muscles look really good and it pops out and it makes you a little bit bigger. So the reason the bodybuilders are doing the carbo loading is not to build muscle, it's to build glycogen. Now here's the problem when you start spiking insulin. You're gonna create insulin resistance. The majority of the population has insulin resistance. And that means that insulin is dysfunctional. It's not working like it should. And one of the big purposes of insulin is to absorb amino acids because it's anabolic. So if you have insulin resistance, you're not gonna absorb the amino acids that, that well. This is why a diabetic who definitely has insulin resistance, despite having high levels of insulin by nine times to a normal person, and I'm talking about type, diabetes type two, they're not absorbing these amino acids. And this is why they have a loss of muscle mass despite having high insulin. So that's interesting. So when you do low carb, keto and fasting, you improve insulin resistance, you improve insulin sensitivity, and you start to absorb these amino acids and proteins for the first time. It's like, wow, I'm finally starting to absorb protein. Also, when you're on low carb and you're doing fasting, there's another um, thing that happens. It's called protein sparing. In other words, your muscles now are protected against the loss or the use of that protein in the muscle for fuel. So your body protects against that uh, when you're doing fasting. Uh, maybe after a period of a week, you may lose a tiny little bit of amino acid, but it's almost insignificant. And rarely does anyone fast for that long. They're just doing it like a little bit each day. So I highly recommend decreasing your carbs and doing fasting if you want to improve your muscle mass. Um, also add exercise. And the type of exercise you wanna do is not long-term running. You wanna do weights and higher volume to the point where your muscles are really sore. Now, I always recommend getting a personal trainer because they can push you a lot further than sometimes you can push yourself. Um, especially if, we're, if you're trying to build muscle mass and you know, it's a little painful trying to do like six sets of um, all this exercise. You may quit after the third one. So they can push you. Also, maybe keep your carbs at 50 to 60 grams a day. Um, not go crazy, but you're not going low carb to help you with a little more um, carb. But you don't want to do high carb because that's going to keep you in insulin resistance. And of course, the type of carbs I'm recommending would be like berries, something like that. Um, okay, and then the other thing is dietary protein. Um, you don't wanna go low protein, you wanna go a little bit higher. Maybe you do eight ounces of protein per meal or even nine ounces of protein, but just realize there's certain types of protein that turn in the body tissue a lot more efficiently. And the top food that will turn into muscle protein better than any other proteins would be whole eggs, not the egg whites, but the whole eggs. And then meat and fish, but dairy and whey protein and soy protein are very low on the list. In other words, when you consume that, a great deal of that is either used as fuel or waste with very little turning in the body tissue. I put a link down below for more information about that. But eggs are really, really important. Um, and then also you may want to enhance that with a very good, complete amino acid supplement. So this can give you an efficiency of like 99%. So only 1% of it's wasted or used as fuel. The rest is turned into body tissue. So I hope that clarified this 
common confusion that a lot of people have. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.